Therefore, uh, you think uh, the first resurrection should include your entire church or majority of your entire church and uh, or majority of your time, entire religion. And Ted is absolutely saying, you know, he's not recognizing anything else, including no idol worshipers. He's not recognizing uh, any um, Greek mythology or Greek gods or any of this. He's not recognizing any of the Roman gods or Roman mythology or Roman paganism. He's not recognizing any of the pagan gods. He's not recognizing Roman Catholicism. And he's not even recognizing any of the Sunday keepers. There's nothing even in what you had in current Roman Catholic Bibles that showed anywhere that um, Jesus changed Sabbath to Sunday. And so he blatantly disobeyed the Ten Commandments constantly. Every week, and you want to call it Sunday school, and you want to say that um, Sunday was the Sabbath, basically, and you're worshiping on on Sunday. Now, for the Seventh Day Adventist, you're gonna um, some of you want to, you know, shout to scream bloody murder that Ted is not resurrecting this many Seventh Day Adventists for the first resurrection, even even though you admit and agree that the Seventh-day Adventist Church was a remnant church. And I'm telling you, you have to be Tedian enough living, and then it's possible Ted will save for the first resurrection some of the ancestors you remember to um, either, either even further um, back ancestors of living now, what if a Roman Catholic turns Tedian? Think about this. Think real carefully now. We did not have their soul. Angels were not storing Roman Catholic souls. What if a uh, Sunday keeper turns Tedian? Think about this really carefully. We did not have their soul stored. Maybe we have a tiny fraction of their soul. It's not worth it. Ted is probably not going to do it. Because if you're a false religion, real angels, real hosts, currently Zost, and in the future, in the Zost, what can be most and host and different things, where I'm recategorizing um, what was simply called host, they don't have the soul stored enough, or Ted doesn't agree that enough were stored. Um, well, he can resurrect. He can even re- there's no percentage requirement required. Okay. Therefore, we can put in most maximum up to most maximum down. And we uh, you know, uh, store certain souls for this. And. Um, I'm just going to tell you, I'm hitting the Roman Catholics really hard in the first resurrection, enormously hard. Even if uh, Roman Catholics turn Tedian, I'm hitting the Sunday Keepers enormously hard. Even if Sunday Keepers uh, become Tedian, I'm hitting the Seventh day Adventists hard enough, even if they become Tedian. You treated Ted when Jesus terribly on the first coming. And you're treating Ted when Ted on this coming, second coming, Seventh Day Advent, the Advent, terribly too, or maybe even worse. It's going to end maybe worse. You know, overall, when this coming's over, and then you expect him to be loving and forgiving and to show you mercy and to show you grace. Many of you did nothing to lessen nothing for Ted during this coming. And even the first coming, you did nothing to lessen nothing. Current Teddians are not courageous enough. You're not pounding enough. You're not pushing enough. You're not trying to start up Teddian movements enough. Ted has not even seen evidence of this on the internet yet. You're not 
doing enough. Not yet. You're not doing enough. I don't know what you expect. You expect it to be just too easy. Like John 3.16, we can just claim this verse. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God did not give His Son. Jesus was not Son of God. Jesus was God, per Isaiah 9.6 and Old Testament prophecies. There's nothing there that says the Messiah and the child were ever to be Son of God, or God the Son, or another God even, in what you have with current Roman Catholic Bibles. Yet for what do you think this blatant problem with Old Testament prophecies is? It's huge inconsistencies, huge deceptions, huge inaccuracies. What proved Jesus can prove Jesus was a completely false Messiah. But yet you want to turn this around and say, Jesus was this, therefore tell you can't be Jesus, or you can't be the second coming. You can't be God because you have to be consistent with Jesus. But Ted is far more accurate than what is written about Jesus. The accuracy problems is with what was written about Jesus. And even with what got into the Old Testament in Roman Catholic Bibles in Roman Bibles and Roman Catholic Bibles.